everyone, I'm Elizabeth, and today I'll be taking a look at the Nerd Shield Grip Cases by Cell Nerds. Starting on the actual cases, I wanted to take a look at the packaging really quick because look at that. No scissors required. It's actually like a little Ziploc bag, so you can put your phones back in here if you want to, or your cases back in here later if you want to. Now onto the cases themselves. These cases are actually both made out of this layer on top, which is impact resistant polymer and the layer underneath is your silicone and I was sent two variations, the glossy finish and the matte, I actually prefer matte because no fingerprints. As you can see both of these cases are going to have protection for all parts of your phone and cutouts for each feature including the volume rocker over here, the power button so you on my phone, the speaker drill and microphone jack as well as the charging port and the other microphone down here and finally the camera. And on the back of each case you're going to find the Cell Nerds logo engraved as well. When I put both these cases on my phone they did add a bit of length and width but after a day or so I didn't even notice and it felt the same. And since these cases are both the same size I could switch off the back plates if I wanted to. And you can get new color combinations. A final note on design, when I first saw these cases on the internet, I wasn't sure about the colors. My phone is white, so I wasn't sure how it would look all together. But actually, I like it more than I thought it would now that I have it in my hands and in person and everything. It actually looks pretty nice, and I'm not even minding the colors anymore. On the overall protection of the cases, they do feel really solid in your hands. I didn't feel like my phone was going to fall out of the cases at any point. And I do like that the case has these bumpers on each corner so that if you drop your phone at an angle, it's protected. If you drop your phone on the back, it's protected. And if you drop it, your phone on the face, which is the most common reason that phones break, especially the screens, you're going to hear the case drop first and not the actual phone, which is what you want to hear. If you hear your phone drop, most likely there's some damage being done. But I do like that when my phone did slip occasionally a couple of times, I heard the case and not my phone actually hitting the floor. Now these little ridges here on the side, these are actually built in for better heat dispersion which means during the activities that normally heat the phone up like watching videos for a long time or taking calls, stuff like that. Your battery does tend to heat up a little bit more and sometimes the phone will shut off, you'll have a bunch of problems with that. But these little vent looking things are built in so that the heat is better distributed throughout the phone and your phone doesn't heat up in the back as quickly. Now a couple things to note, the first thing is that you're going to want to watch out for these ridges here on the back of the cases because they do easily get materials like food and lint and dirt and stuff stuck in them so they're not too hard to clean, maybe just some water and a clean cloth, something like that just to wipe that out really quickly. It's not too hard to clean out but that is something you want to watch for because these ridges do get little materials stuck in them easily. The cases I reviewed are for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2 model number T989. However, these cases are also available for phones like the HTC One and the Samsung Galaxy S4 for $999 as well. There will be a link to the Cellner's website where you can find these cases in the description below. Thank you all for watching this little bit more festive case review of the Nerd Shield Grip Series cases for the Galaxy S2 from Cell Nerds. I want to thank Cell Nerds for sending me these cases out to review. You're very nice and everything. So thank you for sending these out to review. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.